Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome back to Amnesia Custom Stories. Today we're starting a, uh, well actually I think it's probably going to be in one video, I'm not sure. A uh, little uh, custom story called Sanctum Escaping. This is by Frederick Garner and Isaac Edinburgh Borg. Um, this had... <laughs> well first off, this is another uh, Paul Sud um, suggestion. <laughs> um... I checked it out on ModDB and the reviews, oh my, were pretty poor. Uh, again, I have to go back and, and, and say it one more time. If, at least for anyone who's not really reviewing the game itself and just wants to play it, and then they come back and they're like, this is a piece of shit, jump scare fashion, you stupid, blah, blah, blah. Uh, first off, dude, it's free to play. Shut the fuck up. Okay? You know? You know, quit your bitching. You know, if you didn't like it, move along. You don't have to slam the people for it. Secondly, it was a school project, so it was kind of thrown together pretty quickly. Um, uh, but I guess what I'm going to do today is, because I wasn't really originally going to do this, because I have so much more on my plate with you guys, some of the new reviewers, and you guys want some pretty big stories. You know, Machine for Pigs. Uh, Streets of London, I think, is fairly long um, and complicated. I know Streets of London is pretty... I guess figuring out what you need to do is a little bit tricky, but... So those could take a while, and they are coming soon. Uh, so I thought I'd throw in one of these short ones really quick again, just because. And I just want to see maybe what they did right and what they did wrong. Uh, apparently it's just a jump scare haven. <laughs> don't really know uh, the description is I'll just read it ugh where am I the room looks nice but how did I get here every single man that has woken up in the room have had the exact same thought who brought them here who who would do this to them it's all up to you now find the way out of this nightmare find and read the notes that Nicholas a man who has been here before left to get clues of what's going on and how to get out the reason he left the notes is there is if there would be another victim after him <laughs> some of that explanation wasn't necessary but okay whatever all right so let's do this guys So they have their own intro. That's nice. Very sudden appearances. People with some kind of heart problem or similar is not recommended to play this custom story. Oh, well. That's nice to know. <laughs> goody, goody, gumdrops. How many times is it going to happen? From what I'm understanding, it's quite a few. So this could be entertaining as hell, or it could be just boring as fuck. I don't know. How much do I have in that bad boy? Nice. It's completely refilled. I like it when that happens. So what's his note? Is this from that guy? Mental breakdown. 8th October 1972. I've been in this room for days. All I've got left is a few thin slices of bread and a few drops of water. It's time to move. I can't hide anymore. Every cell in my body wants to stay here where I'm safe. But I refuse to die without a fight. I keep hearing voices and see hallucinations. Now more and more often. Why did this happen to me? Just don't go to the same mistake as I did. Don't stay in this room. Go while your mind is still clear. Mine is slowly breaking down, but I will do what it takes. Nicholas, yeah. Good old Nicholas. Alright, so. What happens if I stay in this room? <laughs> he said, don't stay in this room. Well, I guess I better not then. I better listen to him. Because he knows. Alright, so I'm kind of preparing myself for these damn jump scares. Alright. A little bit of music going on. That didn't do anything, really. Kind of like my buddy Tom. I'm really not a fan of jump scares because it's like like everyone says, it's, they're they're cheap. But I think in some cases, if they're done correctly, they can be pretty cool. 
Ah, uh, shit. God damn you. All right, we'll just we'll just keep you shut. <laughs> At least on the one side. Then you're down there. Fuck off, you piece of shit. Jump scare hell. That's just what I wanted. And this. What the fuck? have over here can I I can go over here I got some creativity going on here you know it's, it's not like in just ordinary average build there's, there's some interesting things fading away my last words my time is over I thought I could make it, it seem so bright I thought I fought against my fear. I found oil for my lamp, and I did even forge a unique key fit key to fit the door further away. This place is a living nightmare. I see corpses suddenly appearing just in front of me. It feels like something's always behind me. I can't stand this anymore. What are you waiting for? Get out. Behind me, huh? What's behind me? It's behind me. You said you found oil for your lamp, huh? I, I didn't see any. Where'd you hide it? Well, son of a... Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Well, there's the oil. <laughs> there's the oil. Okay, so this must be for this gate. Yep. Show sure enough. Yeah. Floaty ghosts. I'm sure they said there was. Uh, I am. I am. I am. I am. You're. A, you, you, I am. You, what, what are you? Uh, Nicholas. Nicholas. Oh, so you're Nicholas. You know, so far, guys, I'm not seeing anything that really should be slammed for what's been created here. Next. Upon reading a lot of the reviews on ModDB, these guys are just getting reamed. That was douchey! But I was expecting it, kind of. You know, in these little crawly areas more and more seeing some of the jump scares happen in these. Oh, this is interesting. Alright. Back up. Okay, you gonna have a jump scare when I pick this up? Probably. Oh, well, I guess not. You made a liar out of me. Alright. Oh. Eastern Sanctum Key, so... All right. <laughs> that was entirely unnecessary, okay? Yeah, so I guess that... What? Well, then where do I go? Um... I... I... Ugh! Can I get... Ah! All right, well, maybe it was in this... Aha! Northern Sanctum Key. All right, what freaky shit you got in here now? Oh, Nicholas, quit crying. They have some pretty decent use of sound in here. Is that for you? No. No. No, it's not. 
just go up these steps and see if there's something I can get up up here. Because, well, look at that. I mean... It's like a staircase busted. The staircase... The staircase... The staircase busted. Who not you? I take it back. That was the douchey move right there. That was douchey. That was really douchey. So do I... Do I go up there anyway? <laughs> Is he going to show up again? Oh, no he's not. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Now what? Another key? Oh, I got to turn this thing. What do you do? What do you do? Um, jump scare? <laughs> I'm sure there's gonna be another one. Uh, all right. Oh, look. There's the floaty objects they were talking about. Yeah, that needed to be fixed. But hey, again, it was a hey. They had a lot of time restraints, but again. Someone who was expecting more could come back with, you know, hey, well then you should have probably done something different. But eh, I don't have a problem with this custom story so far. It, yeah, the, some douchey one, douchey. Okay, douchey sections. I don't think I, I don't think I can jump up there. I don't think there's any way in hell I could jump up there. Well, we missed something up here, obviously. What did I miss? I turned the wheel. Did I turn? Was I supposed to turn it the other way? Oh, oh! Okay. Oh, I got a monster after me. What the fuck? Where is he? Where are you, buddy? Buddy, old pal. Let's tango, shall we? I don't see him. Is he gonna just pop out in front of me and scare the living daylights out of me? Is that, the, is that him down there? I can't fucking tell. Or is this all a troll? Is there really no monster just fucking with my head? I, I hear the... I hear the... <sighs> oh! Oh dear, that's open. Are you in here? Friend? Alright. Why is that glowing? Operation Wall Blow. Untested explosive device. Machine room location west. Distance, no risk detected. Device ready to use. Up, down, down, up. Warning. Re reverse entered code may result in fatal consequences. So let's make sure it's up, down, down, up, shall we? Well, where is this goddamn monster? Where are you, bitch? Where are you? I'm guessing we have to get... Where was... Was it this... Yeah. This has got to be the one. This wasn't open, right? Huh? Where is he? Making it sound. Oh, happy fun times down in this room, right? Okay, so up, down, down, up. So the two are up. We just gotta do the. Is there anything down here? <laughs> All right, so down, down. Oh, up and up. Explosive device activated. Preparing and analyzing. I requested explosion. I think we need to, to leave. Can we leave? Starting countdown. Can we fucking leave? Three, two, one. I want to blow up this. <laughs> I 
I should have seen rubble flying everywhere because right when that explosion happened, here's the wall of fucking hell. Oh god! What the f ah! <laughs> Okay. Just like I thought, very short. Um we hope you enjoyed playing our custom story. It was our very first one. We had lots of fun creating it. Okay, so... I will definitely give them pluses on creativity. They had creativity going on. There was no doubt about it. Um, but yeah, cheap jump scares like that, it just, they are... They are what they are. Um... I don't really know what else to say. It was super short. The ending it was a you know a little bit of trickery there because the one monster seemed like it was still coming after me, but obviously he poofed, <laughs> ran back up. There's another one. Run back down, gone. Enter. You're done. Blah blah blah. Yada yada yada. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna rip on these guys. I mean, especially knowing that it was just a a quick school project. And again, it was free for me to play, so why am I going to complain? <laughs> um, I just hope all of you aren't gonna be sitting there yawning, going, fucking hell, he did another jump scare one? Dumbass. I did, you know, so. Uh, <laughs> and I probably did it at the worst time possible, like early in the morning, because this is the only time I've been able to do the custom stories lately. Uh, work has just been crazy. I'm on an eight-day run of work. It's just so silly because I, I had transferred jobs, my one job to the other one. I think if you saw the um, one about my work, the video about my work, that was what that was all about. So, yeah, I'm pretty exhausted. I get home, and all I want to do is just, like, sit in my pop son back here and just, like, chill, like, play Binding of Isaac and watch YouTube videos. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this very short custom story. Uh, for what it was. Um, and share, like and share it if you did. And uh, sub to my channel if you haven't already. I will see you guys in the next one. Y'all have a fantastic day.